Hi, Mari. It's Viola with Gwinnett SEO. Thank you so much for chatting with me again today and clearing up that website issue. And thanks for clicking on this video. Now, I'm going to briefly go over with you three easy things that you can do so you can start bringing in more customers from your web presence. And just in case you're wondering why I'm making this video for you, it's pretty simple. There really are a lot of business owners out there who just don't have the time to make the internet work for them. And it, it allows me to, to pretty much go in and create these free tools or these free snippets so you guys can have an opportunity to do it yourself. If you need some help with it, of course, feel free to give me a call. I'm more than happy to talk about partnership options. But um, if you want to do this yourself, please do. I'm just trying to help as many business owners as I can. So I'm going to talk to you today about content backlinks and citations. And first off, you have a pretty good looking website. I love that you have an immediate call to action. So when people do land on your page from a mobile, they're able to call you immediately, which is how most people do search for anything these days um and i love what you you have going on here the first thing i want to talk about is you definitely want to increase the content because google doesn't really care about how beautiful the site is they care more about the information the content that's on it so when somebody goes to google and they type in pest control lawrenceville georgia which is just one of the many cities in gwinnett um google google's job is to put them in front of the men of the article that has the most words on it and typically these articles that you see on this home page here has about 150 to I'm sorry, 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on the home page. So you definitely want to increase your home page to at least 1,500 words of content. I went ahead and pulled up one of your top competitors in Lawrenceville, Active Pest Control, and this is just one of their many pages. But you do see they have a, a decent amount of content on there. It's not a whole lot to look at, but you do have the opportunity to outrank them when it comes to content so that just shows me there's a huge opportunity here for you to win in regards to content is concerned now the other section i want to talk about because you know people do bypass the ads obviously those google adwords and that uh could be because of ad blockers or just bad experiences etc but this section right here this has everything to do with your business name address and phone number and that's considered a citation and this is what we call the map pack. So in order to win here, you just want to find out how many citations your competitor has, which are basically your business address and phone number listed in different directories, such as Yelp, Angie's List, um, Facebook, Instagram, White Pages, Yellow Pages, LinkedIn, Pinterest, you name it. There are hundreds of different directories, but this is a popularity contest. The more you have, the the per, that person is going to rank in the number one spot. So if Arrow has 100, then add another 50 on top of that. So you're outranking them for this keyword in this section month after month after month. Right. And lastly, I want to talk about this section right here. And this has everything to do with backlinks. I'm going to jump over to this tool that I use called ARAS. It just allows me to see the back end of a website and what's going on with it. This is your website here, Gwinnett Pest Solutions. Kudos to you. It looks like you started back in 2020. So congratulations on your business and surviving COVID. <laughs> um, However, when I say COVID, the COVID era, I mean, for your business and, you know, not a whole lot going on here just yet, but that's nothing to scoff at. You know, there are a lot of pest control companies out there who don't even have another website linking back to them. So let's talk about a uh, backlink because it looks like you have five websites linking back to you 13 times. So I'm going to jump over to this, to the um, competitor in the same tool to see what it is that's working for them. Cause you see, they have quite a bit, not saying you need 9,000 backlinks to outrank them, but let's see what they have working for them so you can know what to do so you can increase yours as well so you definitely and just so you know what a backlink is it's simply site a and site b you have two websites site a has a link on it when you click on it it takes you over to site b and in turn it passes power over to that website as well um, and that helps to give you more power in the eyes of google because once other businesses that have been um, established with google are are giving you a high five a virtual high five then google is going to also acknowledge you as well so the strategy here is to find out which backlinks are working for this company and ask for a backlink on those same pages like you want to pay attention to this number under the dr um as you see this is a pretty high one and the reason why is because it has something to do directly with the business not all backlinks are created equally so for example if you guys did some pest control services for a pizzeria down the block they are obviously not going and they gave you a backlink on their website they're not going to give you as much power as another pest control company because google knows you don't sell pizza for a living right so for example pest 
Posse launches video. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it has something to do with pest control. So it definitely gives you a lot more power, um, such as this one here. So, you know, go through this, see what's working for them, and then ask for a link and have it work for you as well. Because if you're beating them with backlinks and you're beating them with content, you're going to start seeing some of this organic traffic come your way on a monthly basis. And right now they're sitting at upwards of about 10 thousand calls per month you're probably going to have to hire some people to handle that i'm not sure what your your current um, profit margins are but i'm sure you wouldn't mind an extra 10k or an extra 41k in volume per month all right now the last thing i wanted to touch base with you are key words all right this is super important let me go back to your website I noticed that you have a uh, Gwinnett Pest Solutions. However, you're targeting Atlanta Best Pest Control. And this keyword being your H1 tag on your website is only driving 50 volume. That's, that's the volume that you're getting from that keyword. 50 people per month look for that. And that's in Atlanta. Not saying you don't mind traveling to Atlanta, but that's only 50. Now let's take a look at one of the cities in Gwinnett. I'm going to go back to the same uh, tool. I'm going to type in lawrenceville under the keywords all right pest control in lawrenceville georgia 250 people look for this keyword per month this company gets 28 calls out of those 250 per month and they're sitting in a number three position for that keyword and then you have pest control lawrenceville georgia this is actually a different keyword than this one you see how this has the word in in it a different a separate 250 people look for this keyword they get 18 i'm sorry they get 23 calls per month just from this keyword so these are the type of keywords that you want to have integrated to that 1500 to 2000 words of content on your home page so that way when people are looking for pest control in Gwinnett County, you can be located. And there's a ton of people. There's more people looking for it in Gwinnett County than there are in Atlanta. So that's all I have for you. I'm sorry. I really wanted to keep this video at about um, five minutes, but you know, I had a good amount of information to share. Oh, one more thing. When you save these videos, um, when you save your pictures, save them as different keywords that people are looking for. You know, um, if somebody goes into Google and type in pest control picture, you'll pop up, but you probably can't service them. But if they go into Google and they type in pest control in Lawrenceville, pest control in Beaufort, etc., then your picture comes up, your website comes up, they're able to find you. So save these pictures as that, because again, Google's not looking at the beauty of the photos. They're just reading the photos we're doing this for google robots not for actual humans right so again if you have any questions about this if you want any help feel free to give me a call i'll be more than happy to walk you through it all right but thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video again my name is viola and i hope you have a great rest of your day enjoy